All right, uh, let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, yesterday, you know what's going on with Joe Rogan. Uh, also, a number of different artists are pulling their music from uh, Spotify because uh, they feel like he should not be allowed to be there. Uh, yesterday, let's see, Graham Nash and India Ari now pulling their music. Neil Young has pulled his. Uh, 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 now, interesting, uh, fans of Taylor Swift are being urged uh, are urging Taylor Swift to pull her music from Spotify. Uh, they've also noted Madonna and Adele as well. If they pull their music, that would be something. Yeah, there's a difference between Neil Young and Joni Mitchell and Taylor Swift yeah. and Rihanna. Uh, and those people. But the reason this is happening, of course, is because some of these celebrities uh, feel like Joe Rogan shouldn't be on Spotify because they're accusing him of COVID misinformation for highlighting people with different perspectives. And uh, Spotify responded by saying, OK, any podcast that talks about COVID, we're going to put a disclaimer on it. Uh, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki was asked about this yesterday. Here's what she had to say. Disclaimer, it's a positive step, but we want every platform to continue doing more to call out misinform and mis and disinformation while also uplifting accurate information. Our hope is that all major tech platforms and all major news sources, for that matter, be responsible and be vigilant to ensure the American people have access to accurate information on something as significant as COVID-19. That certainly includes Spotify. So what is misinformation? As Joe Rogan uh, brilliantly pointed out on Sunday when he just grabbed his iPhone and talked in his garage or talked in his backyard, mm -hmm. he said, is it that the genesis of the pandemic came from a lab? Uh, that used to bring a uh, get you banned from YouTube or Twitter. Now it's pretty much conventional wisdom. How about the fact that uh, the vaccine is supposed to prevent you from getting this virus and you can take your mask off? That was considered misinformation. Now it's basically fact that we're all living with. How about the fact that the masks that you put on are supposed to be effective? And how about the fact that now on the cover of uh, Newsweek, uh, it's basically face decorations. How about the fact that what we just actually just read to you that Johns Hopkins, that fly by night organization that is fully funded by this guy named Mike Bloomberg, billions of dollars every week, they say that lockdown shutdowns and the staying out of school and being locked in your house is actually worse for you than before. Now, if I said that eight months ago, you probably would have got banned or suspended from social media. So, what Joe Rogan's doing is asking questions, and the arrogance of the Biden administration is how dare you contradict with our CDC changes and flip-flops all the time what we consider the law of the land when it comes to this pandemic. When you consider science needs to be questions and all he's doing is asking questions and he humbly said, yeah, if you want me to put somebody who disagrees with a someone who feels a certain way when it comes to pandemic, I'll start doing that. But for you to ask for more artists to quit, uh, for people out there, for the, ask more artists to jump out of Spotify and for you to ask him to uh, Spotify to crack down on their number one guy who all he does is ask questions because if you ask Taylor Swift and Madonna and Adele if you ask them to leave no one cares about Graham Nash and Neil Young you know if you're 70 years old and you used to listen to your albums go ahead I don't think that'll stop you but if you start asking the pop artists now Prepare for those pop artists to lose 50% of their audience yeah. because you're asking them to take a side right. now on music because a guy asked questions of a doctor with impeccable credentials that may have a differing opinion from your scared to death CDC director right. who sits there in her lab on an iPhone and continues to tell us things that ended up being wrong. Well, look, Spotify is a private business. They can do whatever they want to do. We've been telling you that that's what goes on on Facebook. That's what goes on on Twitter as well. Interestingly enough, over the last couple, uh, over the last week, when the, the initial artists um, of Neil Young and Joni Mitchell started pulling their music, their stock price tanked. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until Joe Rogan essentially apologized and said, look, I'll, I'll be more balanced, that it has come back up. Ultimately, it is a business, and they've got to decide what is what. You know, it, it, and the, the White House said, you know, uh, essentially social media needs to be more vigilant. But I do not remember the White House calling out uh, Justice 
uh, Sotomayor about the misinformation or disinformation that 100,000 kids were really super sick in critical condition because of COVID in the United States, and a lot of them were on ventilators. I don't remember her getting slapped with a disclaimer anywhere. Yeah, this is, you're watching authoritarian, authoritarianism form, and it, and it never opens the door and announces itself. It always starts off small, and it always starts off the same way, where it, you feel ostracized for saying something that the ruling class doesn't like. You're banned from social media. People pressure you to shut up. We've seen it happen in other uh, points in history before, and it's never a good thing. That's exactly what's happening with Joe Rogan right now. I hope it goes away this time. I do love what Joe Rogan said um, uh, went on his Instagram uh, post when he addressed the situation because he said, listen, more you're, you're not going to silence me. As a matter of fact, the way I'm going to handle this is with more speech. I'm still going to have uh, people on the podcast that I find interesting and have different points of view, and then maybe I'll balance it out with somebody who's more mainstream. And then he went on to praise Neil Young and say that he was a fan of his. Uh, you catch more flies with honey than vinegar, and that's exactly what he's doing. But this is a sl slippery slope that we're going down right, right and, now for sure. And it's a private business, but it's been affected by the federal government, and that's the issue. It's not Spotify against YouTube. It's Spotify against... Against President Biden and his administration, that's the scary thing.